Closing arguments are expected in the Ian Cranston murder trial tomorrow. Today, attorneys were back in court with the jury for final motions. As the case nears its close, Bola Badabo is here with a look at the main arguments. Bola? Yeah, Lee, a, a lot of information has been shared over the past two weeks, all to either prove or disprove Ian Cranston acted in self-defense. The prosecution holds that his actions were unjustified, whereas the defense said that he did nothing illegal and defended his own life. Hey, Ian, as of this time, as of what's happening here, how would you describe what your goal has been during this interaction, what you've been trying to make happen? Um, just have Mr. Washington do as long. Earlier this month on opening statements, the defense intended to convince the jury Cranston shot Washington in self-defense. The prosecution claimed the enormity of Cranston's actions did not match the scope of the situation, saying there was no imminent threat and that Cranston hesitated 30 seconds before shooting Washington. Cranston's fiance, Allison Butler, his friend Tyler Smith, and a responding officer were called as witnesses. Mr. Washington, I have a motion to you uh, that he had a lot. Evidence for the trial included video footage captured on security cameras from nearby businesses, body cam footage from responding officers, as well as footage recorded on Butler's cell phone. The prosecution and defense said Washington approached Butler in the Capitol, a downtown club, and flirted with her. She told him she was engaged and they went their separate ways. In presenting the scenario to the jury, the defense and prosecution agreed on a basic sequence of events. Washington, who had been drinking, approached Butler again outside the club with Cranston there. Cranston, his friend Tyler Smith, and Butler tried to get Washington to leave and he refused. When the situation escalated, Washington punched Cranston twice in the head. Butler then took out her phone to record Washington. When she started recording, Butler claimed Washington came towards her and hit her. Cranston was standing in the background with his gun at his side. Cranston said he thought Washington was getting ready to hit him again, and that's when he raised his gun and shot him in the abdomen. Butler later stated Washington did not hit her, attributing her error to confusion. The prosecution pointed out that Cranston had also been drinking at the club and previously at another bar. There was also a debate on whether Washington was affiliated with the gang after an unwarranted sweep of his phone by the defense. Cranston said he feared for his life and he felt unable to fight him off physically and shot him to stop the threat. The prosecution implied Cranston had other options. The three of you could have jumped on Mr. Washington, but he did. Three on one, right? The defense claimed the punches could have been lethal, which warranted Cranston's response. The prosecution said the whole incident was nothing more than a bar fight over a girl and should not have resulted in a death. This was a fist fight. Mr. Cranston, you brought a gun to a fist fight. Closing arguments will be held tomorrow. Bola Baribo, News Channel 21.